coming here, yeah. seeing all the guys and girls. Welcome back to the coverage of YC's Rimini 2016. We're now going to continue with the top eight feature match. Um, we picked a player that we featured before, which is something that we only do in special circumstances. Yep. And I would say this is one of those cases. If you yep. guys want to take a look at our top 16 bracket, if we can bring that up. Um, let's see. There we have it. Um, the results are not in in this bracket, but we can, of course, quickly go through them. So we had um, top left corner, now I'm just mixing up my pages, Marcello um, going up ag against Chris, and uh, Marcello keeps winning. Marcello Barberi still in the tournament with his ABC deck. Then we yeah. had um, Aurelien, and uh, the sole reason why we didn't pick, pick him for a feature match is because we were pretty certain that we were going to butcher the name playing with an ABC <laughs> deck, going up against uh, Thomas Rose, who we featured before. Thomas was successful again. So yep. Phantom Knights Burning Abyss is in the top eight, and it's going up against Marcello Barberi's ABC deck. Yeah, with his 50-card version. Uh, yeah, yeah, his very unique version. Yeah. I think if Marcello's going to lose, it's going to be this round. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Otherwise, he's going to go all the way. Then we got Niccolo Mazzolini from Italy, uh, playing ABC, going up against Alexander Hulch from Germany with his Mermail deck. Nicolo prevailed, ABC is in the top eight, Mermel is out. The, um, wa the wave is finally broken. It is. Alex Purcell, who earlier kicked out Alpa Engin, was going up against Michele Azzalini with an ABC deck, ABC mirror match actually, and then Michele won. So now we have uh, in that bottom left corner an ABC mirror match in our top eight. This is the reason why we're not featuring it. We, we thought that the mirror match is probably not all that interesting. Then, moving on to the top right, we see Ben Sherman and uh, Victor Kioi. Ben was, of course, playing Fan and Knights Burning Abyss. Victor was playing Metal Foes. Ben prevailed. Now in the top eight with Fan and Knights Burning Abyss. The next row, we got Malte Kröger from Germany with an ABC deck going up against Czech Verma with the Lights One deck and Czech Verma won. So now we got Czech Verma with the Lights One deck going up against Ben Sherman with the Phantom Lights Burning Abyss in the top eight, and this is also our feature match, which of yep. course sounds great. Then, just to conclude this, we had Tom Fiergutz with his ABC deck. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. I think he was playing Lights 1. In any way, uh, Tom was playing against Matt Woodgate with an ABC deck. Tom won. And then the match that you actually saw on our feature match in the last round, Emilion Spasov versus Jan Hausmann. Jan Hausmann and his ABC deck, of course, won. So now you know all the results of the top eight. We're going to have those in the written coverage as well. So if that was a little bit too fast or too confusing, you can, of course, just look it up there. There's a link below on Twitch and also in the description on YouTube. Right. Boom. We've talked about Ben Sherman before. Yeah, good job. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. One after. <laughs> His opponent is now Czech Verma from Germany. Yeah. Um, he is playing a pretty similar build to what Alpay Engin was playing, is what I have been told in between rounds. Yeah, the only change is uh, he's playing Solitaire as well. All right. Yeah. So y I think you're familiar with both of these decks. You're not 100% familiar with Czech Verma yet. The player, unfortunately, can't tell you all that much about him. Uh, we might be looking at his player match history, but we can, of course, also do that while we're moving over to the table where the top eight are about to be underway. So here we see Ben again with his beanie hat. <laughs> yeah, I feel I've started something. Why well, no, you, you just said it. said it how it is. Tell it's it how it is. Said it how it is. That was very British. Nice accent. How it is. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a quick look at Jack Vermes' player match history. He started the day with a win against in a lights one mirror, of all things. <laughs> then he lost in the second round. That's not good, of course, if you want to make it to the top 32. But he somehow managed to do that. Uh, lost against ABC. Then he w lost again against ABC. That's interesting. So he was 1-2 at one point, and after that, he just went on winning. <laughs> and, 
Wait, every other match? Every other match, yes, of course, he had to. Uh, only players with uh, two losses like two, or less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Made it into the top eight. Wow. So what a win streak for Czech Wormer. The X2 hero. Who then um, won against Chase and Barker, then against Markus Rosner, Dana won Sandion. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, no that problem. That was a big mill there. He's hit the wolf off that solar recharge. And now still he's able to brilliant fusion. Wow. What an <laughs> explosive start here from Jack. Right, so <laughs> that's that's just crazy. So he's um, he's not even used his extra normal summon or his normal summon at the moment. He's got Goblinberg. He's going to be able to summon another monster from his hand. He's got Mizuki in hand as well. He's going to be able to dump his entire hand onto the board here, making okay. just multiple exceed monsters. All right, guys, if, if you felt like that last match was a bit of a snoozy, this is the exact opposite. Yeah. Lights one is going to town again. We've yeah. seen that before. So Snow getting put in the graveyard there by, by the Brilliant Fusion. That's just so versatile, this Brilliant Fusion. Yep, and then uh, summons the so Shiran Yui Solitaire. Solitaire's effect, going to go get a Uni Zombie. Uni Zombie's effect, going to send Mizuki from the deck. <laughs> this is like a well-oiled well machine. Uh, actually, I have to give you kudos. I didn't do that earlier. When, when Alpay in the interview was telling you twice that his engine was really going strong, Everybody else in the room was like, <laughs> and you were just keeping your cool like a, like oh. an ice cube. Yeah. <laughs> well, well done. Well I done. I wasn't really thinking about it. <laughs> Alpay was like, yeah, my engine is really good. And everyone was like, <laughs> Alpay Engine playing with his engine. Yeah, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, swiftly moving on. <laughs> um, Omega down here. Um, he's got multiple Mizukis now because I think he's still got a normal summon. So he's going to be able to take a bit of risk. Um, if he can get into Minerva quite soon, he might be able to draw into another normal summonable monster that's going to be better than Mizuki. But, you know, that's nothing to shake a stick at. That Mizuki could be useful as well. If he can get it onto the field and turn it into a Minerva. We'll see where he decides to go with this. I All think right. most likely going to have multiple... Um, multiple... Uh, Omegas. Yeah, this looks like a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 opening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, seriously. And then I think that's going to be a third Omega. Is he playing three? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to know in just a second. Yeah, of course. So it's just it's here right now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Um, yeah. Well, that <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. And keep in mind, he's still got things that he can do with that Mizuki in the graveyard. The Mizuki in the graveyard, the snow, snow in the, graveyard. the Shiran Yui Solitaire. <coughs> okay. He's got, he's got the key. He's got the secret. All right. Let's take a quick look. We saw a foolish burial being removed from Ben Sherman's hand, or banished. Yeah. He's also got a graph, a tour guide, Phantom Knights, an ancient cloak, and a lure of darkness. What would be the best hit here? Well, definitely wants to take away that tour guide and, and the allure. That would be nice, too, because having a Burning Abyss and a Phantom Knight don't work very well together. <laughs> it's funny considering that the deck is called Burning Knight. Phantom Knight's Burning Abyss. Yeah, well, they, they don't work together well by themselves. <laughs> they function independen independently and both enjoy making Dante. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing they share, is the fact that they're That's of interesting. Look at this. There's an Allure of Darkness, and then we see two Omega activations in response. Oh, if so he takes all of his Dark Monsters out. Oh, he can't. He's not got enough. So, Graph, and then... <laughs> oh my so God, now he has to banish Tour Guide unless he draws a Dark Monster. Yeah. Did he draw? Yeah, I, I see other uh, it monsters. Looks like, yeah, it looks like there's other monsters. Unless he drew but, all of But his still, I mean... <laughs> The correct play for check, in my opinion, like if yeah. he if he gets lucky, the opponent only has maybe one dark in his hand. Yeah, doesn't draw one dark, which is unlikely, but you never yeah. know. Still, tall guides, it's not going to help. This is the thing against uh, against um, PKBA, it just doesn't help because he can play snow, put one face down. He can't exceed so many. Can't play any more um, burning abyss monsters because the face down is not a burning abyss monster. It's a face down monster. It's just, yeah, he's going to react right now. He's yeah, you I already see he's, he's yeah, going for his graveyard. There's going to be the seven cards that he six, banishes. Seven. Ridiculously enough. Maybe the salt tattoo. He's not even banishing any monsters. One monster. He's yeah. got so many spells in the graveyard. There's no... Alpa Engin called it the best card in the format. It's pretty damn strong. He's just going to put one down, and that's going to be the end of Ben Sherman's turn. He, he can't play any more cards. Pen the does have a max C, however. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. The only redeeming factor here. 
And he's not going for the for the risky play of uh, flipping that yeah. allure of darkness with no cards in hand. Yeah, but bam, bam, bam! Here's these three omegas. They they have a pretty decent number of attack points here. If if he can do something with um, with Mizuki, wow! <laughs> what an explosive opening here! Yeah, absolutely, play. really. Yeah, those those first two turns, more things were happening in the last ten turns of the last wow. match. Wow! More things to come. Reinforcement of the army. Um, Jack is holding on to Twin Twisters. Yeah, so he can just go and get Raiden. And then he can... <laughs> if only he had another Omega. <laughs> he could make another <laughs> Omega right now. <laughs> oh, Yeah, that's Raiden. I mean, he could just... M yeah, c he can't mill any better off Wolf. I, like, if he mills well from Wolf... Uh, sorry, if he mills well from Raiden, he can chain the Omegas to be able to get Wolf onto the field because it's mandatory. Right. I, th I think Wolf... Yeah, Wolf is mandatory, so yeah, he can do that as well it's just oh my gosh this is just a crazy opening hand here it says mizuki for the uni zombie again so maxi and what and what a field like yeah. i would even i would even put snow in the graveyard put snow yeah put snow in the graveyard so that you definitely can just stop any of those players next turn wow it's a one draw from maxi for ben yeah He's going to plow into the tour guide. That is the least useful I've ever seen a tour guide. And yeah, there <laughs> we go. Look That's at that. Just just everything moving forward. The army of Omegas can't be stopped. And that's already it. Look Check at it, how calm he is. Yeah. 1-0 versus Burn Sherman. I, I mean, this, this guy has got nerves of steel. If you're 2-2 two, two in the tournament and you end up in the top eight, you must, you're basically on the bubble the entire first day. And the second day, <sighs> if you if you fall through that, there's nothing that's going to scare you at this point. Yeah, wow, that's just a crazy thing here. Wow, <laughs> I'm a little bit sh just shocked about that. And the thing is, um, Jack Burma, he he's playing three Ghost Reapers. His deck's only going to get better now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. don't think he minds this matchup, to be honest. No, clearly not. Uh, at least from the limited information that we have so far, he's yeah. probably not going to mind it too much. And yeah. what an absolute display of what this Lights One zombie mixed deck, mishmash deck can do. What an yeah, what wow. combination of cards, although the zombies, of course, Dark Monsters, Lights One, all of them Light Monsters, obviously. Yeah. Um, and they seem to work well together. Yeah, well, I remember. I remember a few years ago when we had a deck called French Twilight that worked uh, pretty damn well with light and dark monsters. That yeah, was a few years ago. Yeah, <laughs> that's whew, when was that? That was around maybe 2010, something maybe like 2009 that. even. Yeah, it, I don't think it was 2011. Mm, no, it, it was, was definitely a bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, it was when it was the same time which uh, Honest came out in a. Um, a special edition. This is, this is the same time <laughs> when uh, Phantom Darkness was released. Right. Yeah. One, one of those sets that made waves. Yeah, you could say that. All right. So the co side decking seemed to go over in just a, in just a flash. Uh, yeah. Both I, of these know exactly what they need to s move uh, side into. Yeah, understatement. Definitely. These These guys just... Absolutely know what's what's going on now. They've played every single one of these decks this tournament. I mean, Ben wouldn't point. certainly wouldn't mind if he had the same opening he had the last time he was in the feature match with <laughs> Vanity's Fiend on his first turn. No, that would help a whole lot. Just stops that Lights One deck yeah. deck uh, dead dead in its traps. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Struggle is real. All right, let's see how this second game unfolds. Okay, multiple Fafas in Ben's opening hand. Not necessarily what you want. At least he's got an alert to get rid of one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the entire hand of Chuck already. He's got nothing that can stop his opponent from doing anything. Um, no Ghost Reaper, no Maxi, no nothing like that. 
All right, let's let's look at what Ben's gonna uh, do here. I'm gonna start with pot of desires. That's a good start. Yeah, it's always nice. He's gonna have to draw some pretty good cards here to make this opening hand be able to extend much further. So allure. Probably gonna banish one of the Fafas. Don't need two of those. What a first game. <laughs> let's see yeah. if that second game is it's gonna be anything like it. Yeah. That's a full hand. Ben has never been holding that many cards in the in the first game, so that's a good start. Oh, Mask changed too. So Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good against Lightless One. He's been talking a lot a lot about that card, how good it is. Yeah. Yeah, well, both him and um, Tom Rose were saying how amazingly good this card is. Right. During oh yeah yeah it was during the interview actually so yeah you, you where, where you also said there there have been decks built around that card. Yeah, if an entire deck has been built around a card, then most of the time it's pretty good. Yeah, you'd think that it's pretty decent. All right. Yeah. And at this point, he's probably going to be able to he's going to be able to follow up with having a. Um, a the name escapes me. Uh, Fog blade as well. I don't know what it is with the Phantom Knights traps. It's <laughs> like a part of my brain that stores trap cards just doesn't stops working. Doesn't like weekend. them. Yeah. <laughs> Still, he hasn't normal summoned. So he's able to normal summon that gloves into the boots. He's already got a beanie hat. Doesn't need anything more. <laughs> Here's Olivia. Yeah, Dark Law is not going to be your best friend, Jack. <laughs> no. Especially after you read that card text. You're going to be like, ah, yeah. no. Yeah. Get off the Titanic, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the board is all mine. Is Dark Law talking, by the way? Wow, this opening <laughs> actually ended up real good. Yeah, both of these players seem to have excellent openings in their games. Yeah. Um, this is actually better than the opening that Ben seemed to have in the feature match we had before. Yeah. Where he was well, just... got Dark Law this time. Yeah. Where Vanity's Fiend had to carry all the weight. Yeah. I mean, he, he did say, you don't mind if you lose two cards to it because it, it is that good. Yeah. So, here we see a Beatrice... And that's it. That's it. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much. Okay. So foolish. Uh, he's gonna foolish the Sharon Yui and pop Dark Lord. That is genius. Absolute genius. He's. G <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Okay. So the uh, Dark Lord is not that good against <laughs> this particular deck. <laughs> oh dear. Have you ever seen a Dark Lord put in less work than that? No, but the it's Dark like he Lord didn't show up the for work. The best part is Dark Lord put in all the work because the Sheer and Yui got banished because of Dark Lord. That's so cool. Dark Lord literally just destroyed himself. That's so cool. <laughs> That's the most genius way to destroy Dark Lord ever. <laughs> and now Jack can of course follow it up with the brilliant fusion. Oh wow! Well. Look at how that table has turned in, in yeah. th over the course of one play. Yeah, we're not talking one turn; we're just talking I about one that. play. I loved that so much. What a play! <laughs> <laughs> Usually, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, book of book of moon or <laughs> dark hole or whatever. But no, this time around, absolute victory. Yeah, and he also instantly knew what was yeah what was the best way to get rid of that card. Didn't didn't take him two, one second basically to think about that nope. play. All right. So he's also got a pot of desires check Verma. Um, he's first trying to thin out his deck, I guess, and then he's gonna go for it. There's of course a very f Ben Sherman is out of cards. He's only and there are quotation marks around that word. Yeah. Only got a Levia and a Beatrice on the field. So that's yeah. that's all he's got. Still, how many how many Farfars does he play? He only plays two Farfars. He's already gone through both of them. He's right. not going to be able to interrupt any players here. So there's an Abyss Dweller. Yep. 
interesting. Uh, Jack is going, trying to put himself into a position where he can control the board and the plays of Ben, I guess. Yeah. So Solitaire here, losing his effect, going to get a uni zombie. Yeah, and he's doing all of these searches, like we said, before he activates the Pot of Desires. Yeah, I've just informed the judges um, of something they're just checking up on right now. The fully, yeah, the foolish burial should be uh, banished. Right. Which is actually important in this particular because lake. of snow. Because <laughs> of snow, yeah. Yep. I just wanted to make sure that all was in order. <laughs> yeah, Monka can make all the difference. Yeah, you. Good point. Good point. <laughs> good catch, of course. So there's the pot of desires. Such a what great a comeback! Yeah, like it's just if you blinked, yeah. if you just you, I don't know, you were fixing yourself a sandwich or something. After that opening play from Ben Sherman, expecting that the next thing you're gonna see after you, I don't know, have a quick toilet break or something, is gonna be that it's gonna be one-one between those two guys, and you see a lot of shuffling, which gives you time to eat your sandwich. You come back, and all of a sudden, the table has completely been turned, yeah. and Jack Verma is sitting in the driver's seat. And putting some more pressure on the pedal. Yep, the pendulum swings from <laughs> one player to another. Nice one. <laughs> well, it just again, I, I just you know go back to the first game and replay me getting excited about that first turn because this exact thing's happening again. He's just able to extend these players out, and he's got an instant fusion. So there's yeah, even, even more to come. More, yeah. Wow. But wait, there is more. Yeah. And like you said, uh, Jack Verma, very relaxed, or at least so he appeared. Yeah. Um, he's checked his nerves out at the front door, I guess. Yeah, so he's going to mill a Bernie Vist here. Not going to make much of a difference. He's not like he's going to be able to put anything on the field because, yeah, mills a max C. I think he looked for a Farfa in the hope that some one of them magically appeared, but nope, they're both used up. <laughs> Putting Beatrice back in its rightful place. Yeah, not n none of the Burning Abyss effects are going to really go off here because there's nothing to target and you can't play anything alongside Levia. Again, this Uni Zombie is coming back. It's yeah. causing so many problems. There's also an extremely big writing on the wall when you look at the life points of Ben Sherman. Uh, These are not yeah. his current life points, of course. Yeah. But they might as well be his life points in just a second uh, if Jack Verma keeps on going like this. Yeah, wow, absolutely. Just extending his place here. So again, that's probably going to be an Omega. I thought that card is only good when your opponent has a hand. But it's <laughs> going to it's going to be yeah, you're right, but it's going to be even better this time around cuz he's going to draw a card. and then he's going to lose the card straight away. Actually, no, it's, it doesn't quite work like that. The way that Yu-Gi-Oh works, when you enter your main phase, you get to play first. Yeah, you got priority. Yeah, you got... Only, only when you say, I want to advance the battle phase without doing anything, which is not the recommended uh, no. <laughs> play, yeah. then, then Omega could do something. Oh, just now. Now is fine. Winning now is fine as well. <laughs> he just attacks with everything. Oh, wait, what? How's... Ah, sorry, yeah, I destroyed... Still, I think that's everything. That no? is, that is, uh, yeah. It looks certainly like it's oh. gonna be enough. Oh, the clown gets back. Ca clown come back. He can uh, summon snow. Snow doesn't set anything. Overlay into something like I don't know. Something with anything. attack points. <laughs> yeah, something with attack points, basically. Okay, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> or not? Yeah, that's that's a mildly confusing. Yeah. Don't know quite what's going on because I'm sure that Ben is not on 8,000 life points. Mm. Okay, so we're a little confused. Anyway. In any <laughs> case, that monster that is set there is a speedroid terror top. Yeah. It's not going to stop the assault. No, not at all. Especially considering that Diamond Eye Wolf can uh, destroy it. 
So Jack is just thinking how to best get rid of that monster. It's not. Yeah. He's got. He's got options. Of course, he's got options. There we go. And that is the handshake. Yeah. Yes. Jack Vermer, 2-0 clean victory <laughs> over Ben Sherman. What? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like, yeah, okay, let me sort these cards first. Yeah, it's okay. I'm in the top four. He time. is the calmest player in the entire arena. And now, now there's a smile on his face, finally. All yeah. right, guys. Let's uh, talk about this some more in our post-game analysis.